Hello everybody, I'm so glad you are here. My channel is all about art journal, mixed media painting, collage, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. In case you don't know me, I'm Bea Grob and I love to inspire you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So glad you are here and in case you are new here, I'm glad you found my channel. Today I'm here again with the collaboration for the hashtag Let Us Start With Art. We are several YouTube creators who want to bring you some inspiration with all the different styles and different techniques we do. So I hope you enjoy the show. And the way it works, it is a video hop. When you go to the first on the list in my description box, you come to the next and so on and so on. And when you are back to my video, you have seen basically all the creators who participate this time in the hop. They are not all always participating in every month, but most of them try to have it really the monthly event. Now, what you see here is uh, an art journal page. I did try out the idea and uh, now I wanted to make a real painting. That's what I often do. I try out things in my art journals and if I like the idea and if I have the idea I can do something with it, then it goes on to a watercolor paper and maybe later on even to a canvas. That's usually the way I do it. Uh, I start with the watercolor paper, with a heavy watercolor paper. This one is from Stratmore. It's uh, 140 pound, um, 300 gram square meter. And as, as usual, I like to have the white border. That is just the thing I like to do with those watercolor papers. I don't do it every time, but most of the time I have the white border. And for those who know me since a while, uh, they know I use um, tape from the hardware store, a painter's tape, which is for delicate surfaces. It's much easier for me to get this one than uh, going to an art store. Especially now that one art store who was really closed moved to the other side of the city and now I have to go to the whole city to get to that store, mm, not so much. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna order more online again. Now, if you go back to the page real quick, what you see here, and I don't know how much, yeah, you probably can see, what I used to collage with is, are those envelopes, those security envelopes. So, and, that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna tear figures, but I don't want the white edge, obviously. I just want the pattern paper. So it's gonna be a collage I paint over, just because I can, or something like that. And again, I don't want the white edges. Maybe I'll leave that here. Okay. So I'm just tearing a shape, roughly at the moment. So it's very similar to those uh, figures I paint, uh, a technique I learned from um, Bob Burridge. Uh, he calls it carrot figures, which I think is very appropriate. <laughs> so I really like this technique. And for the heads I start with sort of a square and then form it into a sort of a circle. <laughs> Not really, really. Maybe I have to shorten them a little bit, we'll see. Sure. 
she needs to lose some weight. And I don't like the white pieces here, they have to go to as much as possible. Okay. Now, as you can see, I try to have them a little bit off center just to make the thing more interesting. And well, it's roughly the third where I have the heads. I really have to shorten them a li little bit. They're a little bit too long. Okay, it is dry again. So what I have here are, are different inks. I have a black ink, I have um, turqui turquoise, yep, and that's a white ink. So, but they are all acrylic inks, it just happened to be that. I also have some pens here. And first thing, I'm gonna make a, a, like a dark and a light side. And for that I'm going to use first of all my white ink and I'm going to use the dropper directly and there's going to be a lot of drying in between just and I'm using a brush to um, distribute the white a little bit it's again it's a synthetic brush it's just to lighten this side a little bit. I just pick up when I have the feeling it's a little bit too much and just spread it around on the background. Because I'm still trying to do the monochromatics thingy, you know, the challenge I have set to myself using as much as possible monochromatic. Okay, I think for the most part it is, it is dry now. I'm going to use it, the black acrylic ink next. I don't need the white no longer. And let's see. I do have a towel here so that I can dab off if I have a little bit too much, which can easily happen. I'm gonna make a dark side. And it is a watercolor paper so when I add a little bit water it's gonna spread a little bit that's what I actually want here let's get rid of that then we need some ground for the well I call them there are ladies Next I'm gonna use this turquoise acrylic paint and uh, I'm gonna go with the brush directly into the jar. There's not a lot left so let's hope it is enough and I just paint all over everything. I 
and but I also gonna spray a little bit with water to make it a little bit run just to have some variation And I want some serious drips here, so... Okay, again, I'm gonna dry that with the heat towel and then I will be back. Okay, it is dry again. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reinstall the figures a little bit, just with the black pen with some sketchy lines. But I thought I need a new one. The white I'm just going to do on the side where I will actually also have painted the, with the white. Let's see, this is working, but it's a little bit heavy. I want a smaller one. sort of working. I have a hard time to get rid of those pens. I always think, oh, there is maybe a little bit in. This is actually not too bad. Sometimes I catch a little bit on the bumps from the gel mediums. Now let's try some white splatters. Maybe I go in again with a little bit of the ink just to darken up a little bit. Adding a little bit of water so that it bleeds a little bit. Probably hard to see on the video, but I can see how it moves a little bit further. Now that has to dry again, and as just that's what it's looking like now as always there will be a picture at the end of the video i hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you soon again take care bye